Well, Fox 13 has been wondering how do travelers at Salt Lake International Airport feel about these new guidelines. Fox 13's Diego Romo found out. The new guidelines from the CDC come as more people travel in and out of the state for spring break. The spokesperson for the airport says numbers are up from this time last year. We have been averaging about 20,000 people coming through the front door. That's not quite up to the pre-pandemic levels, but it's getting close. Volmer says daily traffic is only down about 6,000 people per day from 2019. She expects the new travel guidelines from the CDC to draw more people in. On Friday morning, the CDC announced that fully vaccinated individuals will no longer need to get a COVID test before or after travel within the U.S. For international National travelers, a negative test is no longer needed to get back into the country, and fully vaccinated people will no longer need to quarantine after getting to their destination or returning from international travel. I think it probably makes it much more relaxing to know that once you're vaccinated and you've had your two week period of uh, travel or being around friends and family is much less problematic. The new guidelines only apply to people who are two weeks out from receiving their second dose of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine or a single shot of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Volmer says regardless of whether you are fully vaccinated, travelers should still remain diligent with health safety protocols. We've done everything from adding plexiglass shields to additional hand sanitizer stations. You know, we've added um, the reminders to physically distance. Of course, face masks are required when traveling through the airport or on an airplane. People I spoke with today say the new rules make it feel like life is beginning to get back to normal. It's news to us because we've been flying since 6 a.m., but that sounds really good. I didn't know that. Yeah. I think it's a good thing because, like, I think this COVID, this COVID situation doesn't, like, pretty much have people in jail and like pretty much like stop people from doing what they want pretty much living the life they want to live. Volmer says the airport expects numbers to be at 85% of their pre pandemic levels in May and exceeding those levels come summer at the Salt Lake City International Airport. Diego Romo, Fox 13 News, Utah.